Hello, Divine Collective. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divine Goddess Light, man. I'm Ashley, and I am here with some cosmic gems for you guys. As you tap in, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Make yourself at home. Hit the bell so you can be notified every time I drop a read. I hope you guys are having a fabulous evening. I'm doing well. The link to my self-published poetry book, The Unpolished Diamond, will be in the description as well as the about section. I would like to take this time out to thank all my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you to my day ones. You guys have been nothing short of amazing. And I truly appreciate every single last one of you. So, you guys, we're going to tap right into these cosmic gems. So, this is the vibes. The universe is performing miraculous breakthroughs for you at this time, okay? It's a need for you to know universal forces is ushering in your manifestations, okay? It's like breakthrough season for you miraculous things are occurring, okay? You are understanding and you're witnessing how powerful and gifted you actually are. The universe shows you how powerful and gifted you are every day, okay? You're watching these miraculous breakthroughs manifest because you're the chosen one, okay? Because this is what, this is, this is what they all try to stop, okay? They all try to stop and block your destiny because your destiny is, is full of abundance. It's full of bliss. It's, it's full of power. It's full of, full of leadership, okay? Your destiny is, is very rare. Your destiny is what caused you to be the most hated. It's what caused people to try to unalive you, okay? When you see why God made you wait, when you see why you had a whole fucking community going against you to try to stop this, you're going to understand why. This is this what you're witnessing, what everyone is witnessing is a powerful breakthrough and the universal forces ushering in all your manifestations. Okay. So like I was saying, bro, I was getting like, this is why, like, it's like not only the CIA, not only uh, the government, not only your karmic family, but just so many people wanted your connection to the universe blocked, okay? Before you could even comprehend, okay? These people understood you, like the powerful connection you have with all, okay? The inner, like the inner power you possess that connects you to God, that connects you to the universe, your manifestation abilities. These individuals wanted your manifestation powers blocked, okay? Because you are someone, you have the ability to shift reality. You have the ability to shift the atmosphere and that's exactly what you're doing, okay? Just by you existing, you're shifting the atmosphere. Your existing existence is shifting reality, okay? And, you know, this is why, you know, this, the CIA, the government, they, li they, they literally went to the end of the earth to try to block this, this, this God gene, this God frequency from activating within your DNA. But it did anyway. And now you're manifesting your ass off. Now you, you're exuding power. Okay. You're in your essence. You're in your vibe. You in your energy. I'm hearing, like, damn, she in her mood. She lit. Give me any two. Hey, I don't know who's saying that, but that's my shit. <laughs> like, damn, she in her mood, okay? It could be motherfuckers thinking, like, people could be viewing you as someone, like, not every since you've, like, you've rediscovered your power and who, your true royal identity, a lot of people think that you're that you think you're you're too good or people could think that you bougie or people could think that you stuck up because you have it is i don't know i'm getting not only have you elevated your taste has elevated okay your intellect has elevated the way you speak the way you carry yourself you've always with someone that carry yourself with a lot of grace okay but now you carry yourself with a lot of grace a lot of authority a lot of royal royal essence, a, a lot of divine energy. You can, It's like you have this confidence, you have this air of confidence and it rubs people the wrong way, okay? You being in your element, you being in your mood, you being lit and getting money too, <laughs> period. It's uh, ruffling a lot of feathers, okay? You just in your mood, you in your element, okay? 
you're not bothering anyone. These individuals are bothered by your presence, your existence. But that really sounds like a personal issue. So let's move forward. <laughs> okay, but that's definitely the vibes. I also was getting like this energy of self-discovery. Okay, you've like a lot of you while in hermit, you could be a Virgo energy or it's a Virgo hating on you because you're uh, you're in this royal divine energy. Okay, but it's like while in hermit, you have been really discovering like you've been on this this quest, this journey of self-discovery. And you finally you finally like. You finally awaken. You finally tapped into that gene. You finally tapped into that energy that these motherfuckers try to block. Okay, and you are you're shifting reality. All right, you're shifting the atmosphere just by merely existing. Okay, wow, that's powerful as fuck, bro. All right, I was also getting your alignment with the planetary system. I uh, I have a reading uh, uploading now, you guys. Um, it's actually like a, a different type of segment I'm I'm adding. I've added to Divine Goddess Enlightenment where this specific this particular segment is still readings, but we're decoding and tapping into why you're like zero 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 one 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 and pulling energy on uh, and decoding, interpreting angelic messages because a lot of you guys. Uh, you've raised you you've elevated in frequency. You're vibrating on like at and at at angelic frequency at the same so you're seeing a lot of angel numbers so yeah um uh, i have that uploading i don't know which one of these videos gonna be out first okay but in that video i missed i mentioned you becoming you becoming a, an alignment with the planets okay your energy is is like in alignment with with cop with the cosmos at the same with the universe okay um also I also told you guys in our video to look up the moon cycle of the day you were born. Like, look up what cycle was the moon in on your date of birth, okay? Um, because it's actually very significant, okay? It's because I'm picking up, bro. It's something very magical and mystical and significant about your birth. Some supernatural shit occurred, okay? It's uh, something supernatural occurred. Okay, um, the day you were born. Okay, something. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, something like supernatural occurred the day you were born. Okay, so look up what what the moon cycle was. Okay, um, because it's something very magical and mystical about your date of birth. I'm getting. Okay, so yeah, we gonna tap in, but that's definitely the vibes. Okay, um. You know, the universe is performing very miraculous breakthroughs and changes. Universal forces are, it's like ushering in your manifestations. So let's tap into the vibes here. Spirit guides to the highest white light. It's a tap into this energy from my divine ones. I ask that you give me clear channel messages. I also ask that you protect me as I open myself to different energies. Thank you, Ashley. Okay, you guys. I'm going to tap into the vibes here. And tap into the vibes. Okay. Get some overall energy from a psychic tarot that we're just gonna pull one uh message, like overall message here from the psychic tarot deck. Then we're gonna ride out. Okay. But yeah, that's definitely the vibes, okay? It's something very mystical about the day you were born. Something very supernatural. Something something magical. It's a magical... It's like, bro, you're a literal manifestation of magic. You are magic. Bro, you're a magical manifestation, okay, of a celestial being. Damn. Baby, I got to write this down. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's tap in, my babies. <clears throat> What's this? Mental conflict. Okay. Someone can be confused. It's like an energy of confusion. Okay. 
Yeah. It's like you've you've came out of some type of mental conflict. You know who you are. You know the powers. You became aware of your your ancient manifestation abilities. This is why individuals are in mental conflict because they can no longer they can no longer block your connection to the universe. Okay, let's just um, what's the overall energy? Look, discontentment and boredom. Bro, ever since you cut the world off, you cut these humans off, it's like it's like you could be feeling, a lot of you could be feeling confused or you just feel, you're in this energy where you feel misunderstood. It's like all your life you felt misunderstood. It's A lot of you are alone at this time, okay? I'm talking about no friends, no significant other. You, a lot of you are still in hermit mode at this time because you're still self-discovering. You're still discovering certain parts about yourself. But for a lot of you, you could just, you could feel that this energy it's like this it's like this energy of boredom okay because when you awaken to the truth and when you awaken to your true identity it's like you feel as if you don't resonate with humans anymore you've you it's like you're 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 vibrating in a higher consciousness you're on a higher frequency this is why certain things that used to resonate with you are not resonating with you certain people are not resonating with you you don't resonate with humans you don't resonate with individuals operating in the 3d Okay, look, 4D, someone is operating because that's because you've ascended to the 4D. A lot of you ascended to the 5D. Okay, you could be seeing a lot of rainbows at this time. Okay, as well. All right, but I, I get it, bro. Bro, I literally just heard it's lonely at the top. This is how y'all gonna feel, bro. A lot of y'all gonna be in big ass mansions on it. Thousands and thousands of acres of land and you gonna find yourself still alone. Okay. Um, well, not alone and like that. You're you're gonna have like a social life, but you know, a lot of you you're you're just gonna be in this solitude energy for the most part, a lot of the time, um, because you you don't resonate with the 3D anymore. You simply don't resonate. You see this this castle. You see how it look like uh, he like on this mansion uh, in this mansion, um, like on a top porch or something like that. That's what I'm getting. It's lonely at the top, okay? I'm getting, it's, you could be feeling this energy of boredom too because it's like you didn't did everything. It's like the shit motherfuckers brag on. It, you been did this shit, okay? You been did this shit. Is what I'm getting here. <clears throat> You're rejecting. Your energy is naturally, bro. Your energy is naturally rejecting negative entities, negative energy, evil eye. This is why it's like God be putting you up. You're very sacred. You have a very important mission. Everybody can't be around you. Everybody can't talk to you. Everybody can't touch you here. Okay, God, you put up right now. God got you put up because you finna pop out, period. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's get, uh, bro, I can make this up. Expect miracles. Bro, look, expect miracles, okay? The universe is, the, the universe is performing miraculous breakthroughs, bro. This is why God got you put up. This is why God got you put up. Because ma miracles are being performed. Miracles are uh, manifesting in your life. And a lot of this is why God has to pull you away and isolate you before your winning season. Cause everyone, um, you know, they're they're they wasn't it wasn't meant for everyone to go with you. They can't go. Everybody can't go. The people that betrayed you, they gotta stay at the bottom, bro. This is why people may think you feel like you all that or you this, you that. You don't feel this way. Other people, they 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 think you all that. Okay. They they feel they have some type of inner conflict with themselves okay anytime another person their happiness their uh their energy their light if any time that bothers the next motherfucker they got some serious growing up to do they got some serious healing to do you're you, look you're it's you're it's like you're in this energy you're ready to receive you're receiving here period <clears throat> what's at the bottom yeah ask and receive Recognition and reward over here, okay? You're being recognized. God is giving you your flowers, bro. God is recognizing you for all the work you've put in. Period. Okay. Lay down. I'm on move. 
she lit. Give me these two. Y'all, that's the only part I know. <laughs> that's why shit go. Put it in the comments. Who's saying that? Because I'm finna listen at that. It's like, you could be this energy. You're just so, you're pleased with the outcome of your life, okay? You you could be feeling yourself. It's okay, okay? It's okay to celebrate your growth. It's okay to celebrate how far you've come. Fuck these motherfuckers. But if motherfuckers got something to say, it's because sadly, they wasn't able to accomplish what you have. That don't mean downplay yourself. That don't mean try to... uh try to water you water yourself down to make the other motherfucker feel comfortable fuck these motherfuckers shine on shine on my baby you deserve it you know okay okay so we got the uh family tarot deck and we're gonna clarify except expect miracles clarify except miracles spirit It took you longer because your blessings are bigger. Your purpose is bigger. Okay, what is this? Three of Pentacles. Yes. The number three, bro. You see it, they said three. You could be someone like myself. It's like you're seeing, you could be, you could see three birds at once. The power of three. It's three very powerful ascended masters. Ushering in a manifestation, ushering in uh, wish fulfillment for you, okay? But yes, it's three very powerful ascended masters working to to manifest your dreams. And what I was saying, yeah, bro, the power of three. You're seeing things in three. This, bro, you 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 want lucky, motherfucker, bro? Okay, you people are viewing you as someone very lucky. You're just very connected, you, bro. You and the universe are besties. I tell y'all this all the time, okay? You have universal forces working together to usher in manifestations. Okay, for someone here, you could have, you could have, you could have, like, something about what you do for work or some, some type of breakthrough on your job. You could have got a pay raise or you received some type of higher position. Okay. I'm also getting your, your, you have always been designed to be a blessing for others. You're you're gonna you're someone that's naturally very generous. And the reason why God is blessing you generously, because God knows you're gonna give back. You're gonna you're you're gonna help other people to evolve. You're gonna help other people to grow. You're gonna help other people to help themselves. I'm getting big leader energy. <laughs> okay. King of Wands. Bro, I can't make this up. Big leader energy. You could be a Leo Sag Aries energy here. Okay. Okay, um, let's get, let's get some energy for this deck, y'all. We just gonna ride out, get the vibes here. I'm still gonna do that part two, y'all, about the CIA. With, remember, it went off when I was talking about you predict you predicted something overseas. I may do it tonight. I'm trying to wait for this other video to sync from iCloud so I can upload it for you guys. I don't know which one is going to upload first, but I'm definitely going to do one more. Uh, we had a master key. You are the master key. Bro, I can't make this up, bro. You got the keys to the universe. You inherited the keys to the universe. Okay, three master, ma I said master magicians. Bro, you got master magicians in your bloodline, but it's three very powerful ascended masters. These are masters. These are motherfuckers that got the key, the energies that got the keys to the universe. You are the key to the universe. You, it's like you, you, you have the master key. People view you as someone, like I said, very lucky. You're tapped in, you get what you want from the universe because you tap in, you're tapped into its frequencies. Okay, you are being viewed as a, ma a, a master, a master magician for a lot of you because you have the ability to shift the atmosphere, period. Okay. Bro, I can't make this shit up. Powerful influence. People view you as this master. You're a you're an ascended master in hu human form. 
Okay. And this is why these individuals try to block your abilities because you have a powerful influence on the universe in the universe. Your, your, your energy is so powerful that it influenced the universe, bro. Period. Okay. More energy spirit. Someone is a light path number three. March 4th is highly significant. Someone is 43. Someone is 34. April 3rd. I just heard 1983 as well. You could be an 80s baby. Ancestors beef in reverse. Okay. Ancestors beef in reverse. I get it. It's a lot of people that wish to call some type of truce. Now that people know you're unbeatable, they can't beat you, that they can't touch you. It's a lot of motherfuckers that want to, they want to try to reverse your shit. They want to try to cause some type of truce with your bloodline to show ancestors been standing on business, getting these motherfuckers, giving these motherfuckers the business, literally. <laughs> okay. It's some type of ancestors beef that, that your ancestors, they whoop ass, bro. Your ancestors demolish shit on demand. I'm getting on site, bro. It's on site, bro. Speak. Okay. Bro, you have a you have uh, angelic. You have different angels helping you to usher in these miracles. These three ascended masters that's very very powerful working with different angels, bro. All the spirits, all the universal forces work for you. Okay, there everything is conspiring. The universe is conspiring to bring you some type of miracle. Some type of blessing, something you've been praying for. Let's get a few more, y'all. This wasn't going to be too long because I still going to do some more readings. I just want us to get this out. Let's get a few more from here. And then we going to clarify angelic abnormal. Abnormal. Nothing that I do is normal. <laughs> young, young Gucci. I say young Gucci. Somebody listen to the Yeah Jeezy. Gucci bad say that song though. Okay. Abnormal. Somebody looked that up. Okay, but bro, the assist how the way the universe is working for you, bro, it's it's abnormal. You have an abnormal connection. You have a connection to the universe everybody ain't got. Okay. And like I said, it's something very mystical, abnormal. Something uh, it's a supernatural occurrence that happened the day you was born. Look up what the moon cycle was in on the day you was born here. Okay. You could be you could be someone I was born with some type of abnormal dis, like defect and like you healed from it or something. It's something, bro. Or you was born, something about your umbilical cord, something about the time. Bro, for someone here, you was born on an angel number. I'm getting, I just heard 222, two, two, and I just seen 2222. Two, two, two. Nothing that I do is normal. We have Chicago. Okay. This city is highly significant. The state of Illinois is highly significant. Somebody's name is Abraham. And we have demean in the reverse. I can't make this up, bro. These motherfuckers, it's people pissed that they can't demean you. They can't attack your character anymore because you're simply not that person. You simply change and it's evident. Okay, motherfuckers mad. They can't speak down on you because you're doing better than a goofy ass. It's what I'm getting here. Clarify angelic assistance. Then we gonna get a final message. Then we, well, yeah. And then we out. Clarify. Okay. Love begins. 222. Two, two. I can't make this up. You see a 222 two, two, because you have divine partnerships manifesting. Someone is, yo, it's like, bro, this is why you've been seagull so long. Okay. For a lot of us, our ancestors, our angels is strict. Okay. Anyone that wants to befriend you or build some type of relationship or partnership, they got to go through your angels and your ancestors first. Okay. This is why you feel that you feel bored. You feel alone. Okay, your angels and ancestors, it's like some type of faded event where you go meet your, your divine counterpart. You you put up, bro. You're put up. You're not just anybody. Anybody just can't be around you, bro. Okay? That's the final message. 
Final message. Final message. What's the final message, Spirit? Rest and rejuvenate. And there we have financial and material changes. Five by five. five. That rash serious energy. All right. The the universe uh is uh like I said, is uh performing miraculous breakthroughs. Motherfuckers is don't think it's magic. How you how you went from nothing to something, how you went from broke to rich. It's manifested now. It is shit is it's like it's gonna happen o- overnight. This is why people know you connected to the cosmos, you connect connected to celestial beings, because magical shit happened for you all the time. We have rest and rejuvenate. You didn't manifest this. You're a powerful magician. You come from a bloodline of powerful magical uh, ascended masters and, and magicians. Okay, so what here, like, bro, your connection with nature is insane. Okay, just by you existing, you 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 be bringing shit to life. You're not a you you not the created. You're the creator, and that's period. Love you guys. If you want to book a session or you simply want to donate to the channel, I will leave that info in the description. Till the next video. Bye.